hello everyone today in this video we are going to see what is visual tracking and what is visual scanning we will also see exercises to improve visual tracking and visual scanning now what is visual tracking visual tracking is an activity in which our brain and our eyes work in a combination so that we can focus our eyes on any moving object now visual tracking and visual scanning usually develops in a child around 5 to 8 months now when a child is growing when they are 5 to 8 months old at that time they are developing various visual skills in which they can follow a moving object they can focus on a fixed target also they develop depth perception and they also learn to judge if an object is near or far and accordingly they can do their hand movements for which the judgment is provided by an activity with eyes and input from the brain as well now for visual tracking visual tracking is usually missed out why because a child with having tracking disorders they will have a normal visual acuity and they will be able to read a vision chart but they often find difficulty when they have to move their gaze from one object to another object and they will also find difficulty in hand eye coordination activities also they will have difficulty in joining the lines or writing and reading smoothly now what is visual scanning visual scanning is our ability to scan our environment for different objects also to classify different colors different shapes to sort out different colors and shapes and also to classify different faces of individuals and identify individuals in a room individual objects in the environment games like obstacle walking treasure hunt such games require an ability of visual scanning now it's time to see the exercises for improving visual tracking and visual scanning so let's begin now in this activity of visual tracking child has to follow the laser light and whether with the beam stops child has to pick up that card and give it very good follow the light follow the light you can use any cards you can even use a b c d flash cards number cards or picture cards like this now in this uh, visual tracking activity i have used a, a colored paper over the torch use a uh, red green or blue color initially then you can uh, progress with another colors now what i will do is for visual tracking i will hold child's chin so that the child doesn't move his head and child has to track the light first horizontally left to right follow the light follow the light follow the... no you are not following the light now child has to follow it vertically look at the torch look at the torch look at the torch look at the torch good 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 yes and also go diagonally uh, in this video i have used a sensory tube with lights this is a very simple activity it can be done in a dark room and this will help in having visual attention and focus child has to just view this object child can also play with the object so this is uh, having a switch over here can be switched on and child will have some visual stimuli to focus on dot joining activity
Now, in this activity, I will be moving the light and child has to consider that as a target. This is a moving target and child has to throw the ball on light. Wow, high five. Good. The child has to give me the matching card for this. It's a level one game for visual scanning. Give me matching. Oh, wow. Good. Now, in this activity, the child has to find out particular color objects. So now, uh, give me all white and green. Come on, give it to me first. Thank you. Now, sorting out colors is a visual scanning activity. Now, this game was for visual scanning. This is a ready-made game. But what you can do, uh, a handy game could be your own room with different colored objects over there. Keep three or four colored objects and give a target to your child. Like, go and bring all the red colored objects for me. Child can bring a red colored uh, diary, a red colored ball, red colored pen, red colored pillow. So different objects with red color. So child has to scan entire room for one particular color. Better to start with a color first and later on you can increase the challenge by adding a shape. Like bring all the items which are square in shape or which are circular in shape. So this way also same activity can be done with different objects in the room. And even you can use a pictured book. You, you can have a ready-made book available online also with different pictures and child has to identify different colors in that like identify all the red color items, all the green color items in that particular picture. So that will be an easy activity for visual scan. All the activities of visual scanning and visual tracking help a child to build visual activities or visual abilities and along with that one added advantage is it helps to build their focus and concentration. So kids who are having difficulty in focusing and concentrating, these activities help them to build their concentration power. So kids suffering with attention issues, ADHD, autism, sensory processing disorders, they can also do these activities to build their concentration power. If you try all those activities with your kids, then do let us know in the comment section below and also give your valuable suggestions in the comments. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel and support us to do more work in this field. Lots of love to all kids. Thank you.